Hello, David. Hi, Marcus. Tell me where we are and what we're doing. And please don't make it too long. All right. <laughs> so we are in Engelberg in Switzerland and uh, we hit the conditions perfectly. So who is coming along on this trip? So we're quite a few people this time, actually. It's uh, Julia, you, Marcus. We have Edwin, Baptiste, Linus, Leone, Christopher, and me. It's snowing. Look here. Come, come, come. Look at this. Look at that. Hallå, hallå. Hur är det? Alldeles gott. Alldeles gott. Alldeles gott. Super, super. So Brun is located on the kind of the other side or on one of the side of the valley. Titlis and up on that side is where you normally ride the most. Since this was the first big snowfall of the season, Brunnen was a really good option to go the first day because it's just big fields of grass up there and uh, so you don't need that much of a base to actually ski there. So basically you get there, you pick up the phone down at the base of the ski lift, you call the nice lady up at the farm and uh, then you jump in the lift, it takes four people. Uh, then you go up and uh, there's a little book uh, where you can write how many persons you are and how many runs you took. And then it's a little box where you put cash uh, for the run. And it's six Swiss francs per ride. Perfect. Nice travel information there, David. Yeah. So uh, let's address the elephant in the room. How come you have a Swedish last name and speak perfect French? Eh bien, j'ai les cheveux de ma mère, sont blonds. Mais elle est française et mon père est suédois, mais il est brun. Euh, on pourrait croire que c'est l'inverse, mais, euh, mais non. It was very, very deep, uh, much better than we expected. And it was probably, to be honest, the top three snow quality that I ever skied in my life. Actually, it was very, very good. How much have you skied in your life? I've skied a lot in my life. It's basically what I do. I've never skied the neige like that. Even in my dreams, it wasn't so deep. How are we supposed to showcase our clothes when you spend most of the time under the snow? Euh, ouais, je pense qu'on doit apprendre à sauter comme des lapins. Parce que sinon, ouais, on reste en dessous. Quoi. Best first round ever. Can't say shit, but still good times. This was basically the first day for many of us and it was extremely good. So uh, yeah, it was just a lot of happy people and uh, we were, yeah, we we're basically laughing the whole first day, laughing and skiing. So a very, very good day. A little grusig bitvis. You have some alpine small towns that uh, really have that little extra feeling. And I think Engelberg is one of them both up on a mountain, but then in town and also down here at uh, the ski lodge. It's a very, very cool place to hang out. Everything is circling around skiing and it creates kind of a special atmosphere that I really like. With a lot of snow, of course, comes some dangers, the avalanche danger. So we haven't been able to be up in the high alpine really yet. Uh, so of course, we want to go up there, we want to have the views, we want to ski on the glacier. But right now, it was like a, a no-go zone. You just have to let the mountain rest for a little bit until it's safe up there. And it actually looks like it's going to stabilize the coming days. Hello, colleague. Hello. We get. All is good. Ay, 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 Julia. 
Thank you. How is it to hang out with a bunch of stupid Swedes in your home country? <laughs> uh, mega cool, wirklich. Also ich genieße jede Sekunde und es ist mega interessant, andere Leute kennenlernen. Und ich bin sehr inspiriert worden in diesen Tagen. Es ist mega cool. I know we're not back to normal, but this is the first trip that it feels like we're back to normal because we have a good time. It's good snow, we're at a good place, and uh, yeah, that's how it should be. So do you always smell check your boots after skiing? <laughs> no, that's just a uh, uh, satisfaction to have des chaussures neuves. I want to know if I can wear des pieds après. Uh, quelques sessions. In Brunei we just do touring, first of all. Here we could actually do some lift runs, so we got a little bit of mileage in the legs for the first time this season. I've just been touring up until now. In one way it's nice to ski tour because it gives you back a little bit more the run you get. But right now it was super nice to go up on Titlis as well. So you could really see it on both Baptiste and Leone and uh, everyone that they really enjoyed to do some laps on the lift. Like a, a full day of uh, gang shred actually. You ski raced before. How come you skipped the race suit and went into the backcountry instead? Es gibt mehrere Grund, wieso, aber ich bin schon immer mehr beeindruckt vom Freerider. Wenn ich jetzt drauf schaue, wird es mir wirklich klar, dass ich auch mehr Freestyle beeindruckt als Alpine. Ich glaube, es ist wie die Welt ist mir wirklich strikt gewesen. und ich habe es viel lieber, wenn ich selber kann entscheiden, wo fahren, wie fahren, mit wem fahren. Darum die Welt passt mir viel besser. Baptiste has a really good style and I think yeah, we, we see the, the mountain kind of the same way. Double shift this, is that your trademark trick? Oui, c'est vrai que les doubles shifties en l'air, j'ai l'impression que c'est, ça vient comme ça. J'ai l'impression que c'est comme ça que je me repère en l'air. Je sais pas si je vais atterrir à gauche ou à droite. C'est juste ça. How is the vibe here with the Stellar Crew? Euh, bah, c'est une semaine formidable. C'est euh, incroyable de passer une semaine euh, avec euh, un mètre de neige euh, tous les jours et, euh, et d'apprendre le suédois en plus. C'est parfait. Thank <laughs> you.